Hey guys, this is a really cool one. Today we're gonna to build an AI automation that will take the comments from content in your niche and turn it into unlimited viral content ideas. All right, so let's start by checking this out in action. So let's say that you are wanting to create content around uh, Facebook ads. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy this link right here. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna click open chat. We're gonna paste in the link and then we're gonna let it work. Now first it's gonna go through and scrape 100 comments. You can scrape a lot more, that's just the ones that I've set it to. Then our first AI node goes through all of those comments and decides whether or not those comments have any content ideas. Then we filter out all of the comments that don't have any content ideas and we add them all to a sheet. When I go back, you can see that it pulled 100 comments originally and our AI decided that only 14 of those 100 comments had content ideas. Now we're looping through and conducting research on the topic and creating new content ideas based on those topics. If you wanna build this, you can just follow along or if you just wanna skip the entire build and go and download the template yourself, you can click the link down below, head on over to my free school community. There's this and other builds there that you can grab 100% for free. So with that, let's go ahead and dive on in. All right, so to start out, let's pick a trigger. Now you can do a form, but I think for this, I'm just gonna start us out on a chat trigger. It'll be easier because on a form, you typically have to listen for a submission and it just gets a little bit tedious. Next thing we're gonna do is an HTTP request. Now, for this, we are actually going to be using Appify. If you haven't already seen in my other videos, Appify is just a marketplace essentially where you can find actors that will scrape just about anything on the web. So you can scrape websites, you can scrape platforms like LinkedIn, Apollo, uh, Instagram. For this, what we wanna do is we wanna look for uh, YouTube comments. Uh, we'll just actually search YouTube comments. So typically I like to look for pay per result models and we can just kind of click through these until we find one that we like. This one is $2 per thousand comments. Let's see if we can find a better one. This one's $1.80 per thousand. And this one is 50 cents per thousand. This one's probably gonna be good. I'm gonna start here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my maximum number of items just to 100 for right now. We can always change this later. And then I'm just going to add a random YouTube video link URL. I have this one from our example. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna paste it right here inside of this. Now, if I look over at my JSON, you can see that it's built out. The next step is to head on over to our integrations. We wanna go down to our API endpoints. And under this, we wanna run actor synchronously and get data set items. Now, for larger scrapes, this is not a good idea, um, but for smaller scrapes like this, totally fine. Next, I'm gonna click here and view the API reference. And the only reason I'm doing this is it actually has a curl builder and the curl is actually going to help us set our HTTP request 10 times easier. We need the bearer token and the actor ID to get started. So heading back over here, we have the actor ID right here. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste that right here. And then I need my bearer token. So I'm gonna come back over and I'm gonna get my API key right there. And then I'm gonna head over here and we're gonna add in the API key. And the last thing we need to do is we need to go back to the actual actor and we want to copy the JSON, boom, right there. And we're gonna drop that right here into the curl builder. And we're gonna send an API request to make sure that it all comes back good. That looks good. Now I can copy this and I can take it back to N8N and just plug it in. So right here where it says import curl, I'm just gonna paste this right here and I'm gonna import it. Right away, you can see it has already built out the entire node for us. We're gonna make a couple of quick changes. First off, we need to add our bearer token in manually right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back over, I'm gonna head over to my settings, API key, and I'm just gonna paste it. Then I'm gonna come down here and I'm going to be swapping out this. Now, just so I know which variable to use, let's go to our first node and let's test the step. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this URL, I'm gonna come in here, and I'm going to paste it and I'm press enter. Now I can go ahead and stop this. I don't actually need this node to run yet because it isn't actually using data from the chat that we just sent, it's using data from the original curl. So you can see right here, this is what we originally put in. What we wanna do is we wanna swap this out, make sure that this is an expression and swap it out for our chat input right here. And now it's gonna update dynamically. You can see that this is gonna be the link that we put into our chat. Perfect, so that's set up. Now, if you want to, you can also change this number. Uh, you can do as many as you want. I'm keeping it to 100 just because it's easier. Um, and also, I don't need a lot of comments to generate ideas, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test this step now. And this step is gonna pull 100 different comments from this video's URL. And you can see it worked right here. I'm gonna pin this data. 
And for our next step, we're gonna add in an AI node. I'm just gonna come right here and click on probably this guy, open AI, message a model. Now I already have my prompts for this and I'll show those to you in just a second, but I'm gonna first select which model I want. This one doesn't need to be very robust because the only task of this node is to look at the comment and decide whether or not there is a content idea buried in that comment. Before I add my prompts, I'm gonna simplify the output and then make sure that we're outputting the content as JSON. Now for every AI node, I typically want two messages. One is gonna be a user message and one is gonna be a system message. Now the user message is just going to be to give it the new variables, the pieces of information that the AI node will take in as inputs. And then the system message is all of the context, telling the node how it operates and why it operates that way. So to start out, we're gonna add in a user message. This one is the simplest by far. So for this, you're a helpful, intelligent social media manager and content assistant. Please review the following comment. And then we add in our comment. There we go. Now let's create our system prompt. I'm gonna add a message right here and select system. I already have a system prompt created for myself, but I'm gonna show you what the template looks like. And by the way, if you wanna grab this again, you can just grab the template for free. It is in the link down below in my free school community. So here we are, I'm gonna zoom in. This is the generic one, the one that you can use to fill in the blanks. You are an AI agent responsible for analyzing YouTube comments and determining whether they contain a relevant idea or inspiration for new content on a creator's YouTube channel. The next is gonna be context. So this is gonna be all the information about you or in this case, me, right? So have the creator name, brief description of expertise or niche, the channel focuses on XYZ categories, topics, et cetera. The goal is to identify YouTube comments that could inspire tutorials, strategy breakdowns, Q&A content, walkthroughs, or relevant thought leadership pieces. Uh, comments should be evaluated for their potential to lead to videos that resonate with the target audience and align with the uh, creator's unique experience. So what it's trying to do is it's trying to find an overlap between my experience and what the person is asking so that it can come up with ideas that I would find relevant for me. Then we provide instructions. It's gonna read the YouTube comment. It's gonna evaluate the comment. And then it's using these as its criteria to evaluate the comment. And then for our output, we only want yes or no. Next up, we've got our tools, and our tools in this case are just simply the input, which we have labeled here, and then our examples. So for this one, I would just wanna add a comment that has a potential content idea in it, and then for this one, I would wanna make sure that it does not, and then rinse and repeat here. We're just trying to give the agent enough information so that it can make intelligent decisions, right? The SOP basically breaks down the action that the agent is taking step by step. So parse the YouTube comment, compare the comment to the criteria, determine if it presents a content opportunity, and then output yes or no for that piece. Final notes, tune the relevance criteria based on the creator's niche, brand, and video style, exclude vague praise or off-topic remarks, and lean toward inclusion of the comments points to a content angle that adds value to the audience, right? So again, this is the generic one. It requires a little bit of tweaking. I've already got mine, so I'm just gonna copy this one right here, and I'm gonna add it in. There we go and we can run it with the information it already has. Now this node's gonna take just a little bit to run, so I'm gonna let it go. Okay, so this node just completed. Let's take a look at it. It looks like we've got 100 records that came through. I am just gonna go ahead and pin this. Now, I don't really wanna deal with records that are not relevant, so records that came back as no. So right here, I'm gonna add either an if or a filter. An if statement would just be like, if it is no, then, or a filter, would be to remove items matching a condition. So in this case, I'll just use this. What I'm gonna pull is the output right here. I'm gonna add it in. So if this item is equal to yes, then it's gonna be kept, right? So let's test this step. There we go. And it came back with only seven items. So now we wanna take these seven items and add them to a Google Sheets node. So I'm just gonna come over here and append a row in sheet. I already have a sheet ready for this. And so we're gonna choose YouTube comments and we're gonna do the copy of sheet one. And now I'm just gonna manually map these items. And so to get this data, I'm gonna come back down to my HTTP request, which is right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy in all of the data. So now we've got four pieces that are blank. Let's go ahead and test this step. And what we should see is over on our copy sheet. There we go. Those are our new comments that were just added. And we can see here that they were added successfully. So I'm gonna leave these right here. And again, the reason I'm pinning the inputs from node to node right now is so that we can test seamlessly and then go back through and do an entire walkthrough from beginning. Okay, so from here, we wanna create a loop over node and set the batch size to one. 
We can go ahead and test this step, that'll be fine. And next up, we wanna create two different AI agents. The first one, we're just gonna do a message model. So open AI, message model. And we're gonna choose for one mini. There we go. We're gonna turn off simplify output. We're gonna turn on output content as JSON. We're gonna set the user prompt to this right here. So you're a helpful research assistant. And then under the system prompt, we're gonna use this guy right here. I'll go over it very briefly, but we have overview. You're an AI agent specialized in extracting content worthy topics from YouTube comments and conducting real-time research to support video ideation. Then we state our objectives, begin by analyzing YouTube comments to identify a relevant, engaging, and curiosity driven topic. Once the topic is extracted, use the Tavily tool to perform real-time research based on that topic. And then based on your findings, return a structured JSON object that includes a clear and compelling video topic derived from the comment, a three to 500 word research overview that expands on the topic with current factual information and includes recent trends, statistics, and real world examples, citing sources like according to source, and maintains an educational, unbiased, and informative tone and highlights why the topic is timely, interesting, or useful for broad audience. Output instructions. Your only output should be a JSON object with the keys topic and research overview. Do not include the setup text, notes, or formatting outside of the JSON object. And ensure the research overview is between three to 500 words and tightly aligned with the topic. And then we provide examples. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this right here, come back over, we're gonna drop this into our prompt. Now that we have this, we actually want to add in a Tavily tool and we're just going to say use this tool to search the the web and this is going to be a post request we're going to set our endpoint as that and then we're going to send over our headers and this one is going to be once again bearer and then our api key and if you don't know where this is, you can go to Tavily and you can actually just go to your uh, API keys and then create if you don't already have one and then copy it and add it in. So there's that one. Next up, we're gonna do content type and we're gonna do, and then we're gonna send over a body and do it via JSON. And what we can do is right here in Tavily, you can go to the docs to reference the API and we can just copy this section right here. We're gonna drop this down here and then we're gonna swap this out with search term. And then we're just gonna test this. So we can see right here that the search term that came through uh, got us this response right here. And then that response was fed in and the output was topic and research overview just as we wanted. Next up, we're gonna add another message model node. This guy is gonna be, we're gonna select once again, for one mini. And then for our user prompt, we're just gonna pull this right here. You're a helpful content creator assistant. We've got our topic and our research overview. So we're gonna copy these right here. I'm just gonna paste it in. And you can see that those populated using these two pieces right here. And then we're gonna add a system message once again, I already have a system message for me. I'm gonna walk you through what this generic version looks like. So first we start with context. You'll receive a video topic and a three to 500 word research overview generated by a previous agent. Your role is to turn this into a viewer grabbing hook and a logically sequenced outline for a potential YouTube video in the creator's channel. The channel focuses on, and then this is where we fill in the blank. And the target audience includes, again, fill in the blank, uh, the tone should match the creator's brand, insert brand tone, and you're not responsible for scripting, only ideation and structuring. And then we have our step-by-step -step instructions, read topic and research overview, generate a one sentence hook designed to immediately capture interest. The hook should raise curiosity, present a strong benefit, or pose a bold, surprising statement. It should resonate with viewers based on the niche and value of the content, and should create a clear outline, okay? And then obviously output your results in JSON format with two keys, hook and outline. And we don't have any tools on this node, um, but we do have uh, examples. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and copy mine in. Right there. We're gonna come back over. And once again, turn off simplify and turn on output, and we're gonna test this step now. So it's gonna rerun the previous step and then come back through to this node. 
and let's just check the output on this. And you can see here we've got our hook and the topic for this was a step-by-step -step guide to creating a Facebook ads account for online courses. What if you could set up your Facebook ads account the right way once and unlock a steady stream of enrolled students automatically? This came out awesome. And then we've got our outline right here. What we're gonna do now is we need to add all of this to our spreadsheet. So we're gonna do a sheets node to wrap this up and we are going to update a row in a sheet. Once again, using the same sheet from before, we're gonna use our YouTube comments, copy of our sheet, and then we need to map this manually. We're gonna match it on the ID. It should be our HTTP request, this guy right here. So map matching on the ID. We're then going to update these bottom fields. So coming all the way back up here now, go to our latest node, and we're gonna add in our hook right here. We're gonna add in our outline right here. And then we need to come back down and add in our topic and research down here, which was right here. So we had our topic and our research. Cool. And let's go back over to check our sheet. You can see that none of this information is filled out. Let's go ahead and test this step now. And there it is right there. And lastly, we're just gonna clean up this workflow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unpin these and I'm gonna come right down here and I'm gonna click this little brush to tidy it up and then I'm gonna save this workflow. Now let's go run a brand new test. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back in here. I'm just gonna delete all of these just to show you guys. All right, let's go ahead and grab this URL again. Let's go ahead and test it again. Okay, we've just added all of these comments to the sheet and now it's looping through all of the research and crafting of our topics. Let's go back over and we can see the topic was a comprehensive step-by-step -step Facebook ads course. The hook, what if mastering Facebook ads started with automating the most confusing step, your account and ad setup. And then we've got our outline right here. So with that guys, we're gonna wrap up this video, but you should now have a complete system to generate nearly unlimited content ideas. If you found that at all helpful, do me a favor, give me a like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my free community down below where you can grab this and other templates for free. Don't forget to comment down below with any builds you'd love to see in the future. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.